World Cup soccer may be over for the U.S., but its effects are still rippling through Kansas City. KC had some of the nation's highest television ratings during the World Cup. That's not surprising. We got great soccer fans, and that kind of exposure is quickly making soccer appealing to young people and as appealing as football, in fact. Amy Holly witnesses the soccer surge today. When Nick Knops puts on his gloves and defends the goal, he's not just playing. He envisions the soccer pro. Huge for his teammates. Tim Howard, a record-breaking goalkeeper for Team USA. Young athletes know soccer pros by name. Cristiano Ronaldo. Van Persie. Uh, Arjun Messi. Robin. Like their parents named football players and their grandparents knew baseball. The USA away jersey. It's flying off the shelves. We, you can't even tell. We, we can't keep them in stock. Tuesday, 13,000 red, white, and blue fans filled the PNL district to capacity before the final Team USA game. CNN said the World Cup ratings were higher than any other non-football sport. I was so mad when USA lost that game. I was they had was a wide open shot, and then we have to wait four more years. It's crazy. Some in this group started playing as early as five, with intentions to play soccer over football. The high school sporting association confirms it's now the fourth most popular sport for high school girls and the fifth for boys. Especially in this city, I mean, it's starting to blow up in this city. The Metro is home to the MLS soccer champs, Sporting KC, two of their members on the World Cup USA team. Overland Park has the state-of-the-art soccer complex, and some of the soccer clubs there that used to have just a few dozen members now have as many as 5,000. There are an estimated 50,000 total young soccer players across the city. It's extremely fun. It's really fast. And you just got to be good. They say soccer fever is here to stay. In Overland Park, Amy Holly, 41 Action News.